the clock has started. All right, I got six minutes to talk about the yurt. What's up, tubers? Okay, my girlfriend and I stayed in the yurt like two years ago. Um, I still have the footage from when we stayed in it, and I really, the family was so nice, they were so cool. Anyways, we went out, we drove for 300 miles to a place in Vermont called Randolph, uh, a place in Randolph, Vermont. We drove 300 miles within the last mile of the location we were trying to get to. We were in under a mile. We were, honestly, we were like a couple little winding ro roads away, but because it was on this like dirt pack road, uh, we we got stuck. It was, there was no snow plow. Um, and so we were like trying to get up this hill. We got stuck. It's the ocean. Don't, 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 don't. Don't gun it like that when you do that. Get, right. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. And we ended up calling the guy. He came down, picked us up in his truck, and walked us out to this yurt and down in to this little valley where it was just nothing but wilderness, nothing but trees, beautiful. Um, and there was this little yurt sitting right there. They they also had a uh, a sauna or like a like a steam room, and you could use that. We didn't use it. We ended up staying in the yurt the whole time because we had to hike down into this little valley and then hike back up. But it was awesome. We brought all the food. We brought a cooler. We brought all the food we needed. They had a um, they had a wood fire cast iron stove that was in the yurt. And the yurt was very basic. It did have the vinyl walls, and I think they made the the um, wooden slats themselves, but the vinyl and the roof came in a, uh, they bought these. So they bought like three yurts, they had three different ones on the property, pretty far spaced out, you would never know you were around anybody. Um, and it was really cool. They had um, a kitchen they had set up in the yurt. The, the wood fire stove got so hot and we burned through so much wood because it was my first time using a wood fire stove. And so we burned through so much wood because I had left the little lever open and he told us what to do, but I, I just left the lever open. And so it got so warm in there that we actually had to crack the door open and it was like a blizzard. It was in the middle of a blizzard. So I underestimated this log in here. It's hot. Can't see out there right now. Cause the, let, me, let me do this on your roof. Bam. Allison's brushing her teeth out there. Inside the yurt, it was super warm and we had you know, our little uh, solar power light that we use and it, everything went fine, everything was wonderful. Was the yurt the one where we couldn't figure out the stove? The, so we, we spent like two hours trying to figure out whether how to turn on the propane stove, which I love. I thought the stove was so cool and I was like, I can't wait to use this thing. There's the kitchen. Whoa, look at this. Look at, here, look at that. How amazing is that? And we couldn't figure it out, we couldn't figure it out. And it said like, turn here to turn on the propane, turn here to turn on the propane. And so I'm like twisting it and twisting it, wrenching it. And uh, it turns out the propane was already on. So we had sat there for like hours trying to figure out how to turn the propane on. And Allison was like, why don't we just light it with the lighter and see if it works? And so we did and it turned on this. And then we had a great dinner, um, but it was cool. You know, we used the snow outside for the ice in our cooler to cool our food. We ended up buying raw milk from the family. I crashed my car getting out on the last day, or I crashed my girlfriend's car, I should say. And we, I slid down this hill. I was coming up this hill and I was like, if I gun it, I'll make it and I can pick Allison up with all of our stuff and then we can go back down the hill. So I'm gunning it up this hill and I get to the top and our Airbnb host, he's coming down in his, his four by four, like huge truck that can take the snow, no problem. And he just sees me and we lock eyes and I just slide backwards down this hill. And luckily I hit a tree because if I didn't hit the tree, I would have flown off into this ravine. Um, but it was an awesome experience and the snow from that tree just like fell on the car. Then another one of his neighbors came up and took us back to the yurt so that we could get all of our stuff at the end of the last day. And we grabbed all of our stuff went up to the road, hiked back up the mountain through the snow, uh, said goodbye to the yurt. It was such a beautiful yurt. And um, the outhouse, by the way, also, I have to say the outhouse was so cool. You could sit there and do your business and just look out over this huge, vast wilderness, uh, just nothing but treescapes. And the stars at night were absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen so many stars and so many colors in my life. It was like, reds and blues and purples and 
yellows and just every different color. It was kind of amazing. I, I didn't really, I've lived, I've lived in Northern California and gone to Tahoe and done all that and like been out there and, but nothing really, I've never seen anything like Vermont at night. The stars are incredible. Well, as always, I'm gonna have a link down below to the Airbnb that we stayed at. Um, the hosts, him and his wife, they were wonderful. Very cool people. They helped us get up there and get out of there. And so yeah, that's that. I'm coming up on my 30 second mark right here. So I'm gonna do the outro. Like, subscribe, do that whole thing. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it.